Hi everyone, today I'm joined by Jeremy Holton, who is um, based primarily in Thailand and runs very exotic uh, art workshops and cultural tours uh, through, I think it's Northern Thailand. Is that correct, Jeremy? Uh, Northeastern Thailand, Isan. Right. Um, now, Jeremy, would you like to tell us some of the basic details about the, um, about the workshop painting holiday, uh, including you know, how many people are, you're going to cater for, um, the cost and uh, the exact location uh, and all those other sort of interesting things that um, people listening would be interested in. I think there's a lot to talk about. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, we have a small guest house uh, up in northeast uh, Thailand, on, right on the Mekong River. Our land goes down to the Mekong River um, in a small town called Pompasai, which is 50-odd uh, K from Nong Kai. It's another 50-odd K from Udon Thani, where the nearest airport is. So it's about an hour and a half drive to the nearest airport. Right. Um, we pick our guests up from there. Um, we're quite small. We only have uh, two, two, three rooms. Um, we can take four to five people at a time. And we have a mixture of... Uh, uh, I, typically, I, I teach painting in the mornings, uh, and then we take people in the afternoons, or we take people on, on trips. We take to my wife's Thai, to my wife's village, uh, introduce them to local culture, and lots of very interesting places to go to. There's so, such a small group. We're only talking about uh, four people. Uh, typically, uh, maybe one. You know, if there's a couple, uh, the wife does wants to do painting, and the husband wants to do something else. Uh, so we really gear everything around our guests. So if they want to spend a whole week painting, they can do that. If they want to spend a lot of time travelling, uh, looking around, um, we do that as well. The husband, surprisingly, uh, often want to learn Thai cooking. Yes. And my wife is a very good cook and uh, she help, teaches them to cook. She takes them to the market and gets the, the materials and they, they cook together. Um, the ladies often want to have massages as well. They're very cheap and very good in, in, in Thailand. Um, so it's... It's a real mixture. There's lots and lots of things to do, uh, and the, the teaching painting is a fundamental part of it, but it is only part of the whole experience. How much is it? How do you actually work out the costings for this? It sounds like it's kind of a fairly fluid arrangement. It's not a formal start and end, or is that correct? Or is that... Well, yeah. It, well, the course is not. There's no. There's, the painting, there's no formal start and end. It's, everything's tailored to the individual. Yeah. Uh, so people progress at different rates um, and they want to do different things. And there's a wide range of experience. So some people are very experienced artists, some people have got no, no experience at all. Um, the, so we work from Saturday to Saturday because we have to go to the airport, pick people up, and it's a three hour round trip. Um, and also, we've only got two rooms basically, so we can't, uh, we don't want to overlap somebody because it means somebody else misses out for another week. Yeah. Um, so we charge the basic rate is 900 US dollars uh, for a week, but that covers absolutely everything. It covers all the, all the food, everything except so sort of alcoholic drinks um, and uh, some maybe some restaurants. Uh, uh, it's all travel. It's all all in. Uh, but we also charge on a, on a, on a, a, a base for a week on a, a sort of bed and breakfast basis where you can pay extra if you want to have tuition, extra if you want to go on trips and so on. We have a lot of surprising number of single ladies come travelling on their own. Very often they haven't travelled internationally before and it's pretty adventurous to go all the way to the wilds of Thailand. Yeah. Uh, but they, and they love it. it. One of the great things I always promote on our website is that uh, uh, have a look at the, the TripAdvisor reviews. Everybody gives us five stars. Everybody has a great time here, which we wouldn't do it if they didn't, honestly. That's what it's all about from, from our point of view. And um, tell us a little bit about the food. I know you just sort of touched on that before, saying that you've got a cook there, but um, uh, for those that love uh, Italian, for, the, for those that love Thai food, um, what, uh, what's typical cuisine where you are? Well... My, my wife does the cooking. She's a okay. very good cook. Mm -hmm. um, she has some help with it. Um, and we sometimes bring some food in from uh, local restaurants. In northeast Thailand, the food they eat is extremely hot, very, very chilly hot. Yeah. So we provide a, a mixture of dishes because not everybody can manage that food. Mm -hmm. Although it is quite very interesting food. Um, and so we, uh, we 
typically we have, as you do in an Asian style uh, meal anyhow, we have several different dishes and people can choose the, the dishes they want. Some are more Bangkok style Thai food and some are uh, what we would call phalang food, that's uh, European type food. Um, so we do a mixture and we have, we have quite a few people who are vegetarian, uh, so we, we produce vegetarian food if people need vegetarian food. Right. And very easy, not, very casual. I mean, yeah. we just look after our guests, that's all. What's your experience as a painter? Uh, what's, your, what's your medium? What's your thing? What are you going to teach uh, or instruct the people that come to stay? How you okay. Well, I've been, um, my, my background is with IT. I was a geologist, I was a management consultant, been all sorts of things. But I've been painting professionally now for. 20 years, um, had countless exhibitions, sold a thousand odd paintings. Um, and initially, a lot of my painting originally uh, was actually using oil pastel and, and inks on paper. Right. And I do teach that. Uh, but nowadays, I do far more in uh, um, paint, acrylic and oil paints. Um, from a technique point of view, I uh, use work on canvas mainly. Um, some people I'm, I, I teach the um, oil, pastel and uh, ink approach, um, which is like a scraper board. I won't go too much into it, but basically um, at one stage you cover your painting up completely with ink and then you scratch back into it to recover the image, so you find the image again. Yep. And the advantage of that is it teaches people to let go of reality because you've done this lovely oil, pastel painting and then you destroy it completely by putting ink over it, um, which is very good for artists to, to do that. Uh, then you, re you recover it. And as you recover it, it becomes an entirely different painting from what you started out with. I don't you appreciate how big Thailand is. Yeah. Uh, this is down here, we've got, can you see that arrow? Yep. The arrow? Down yep. here we've got Bangkok. Yep. Uh, now we're up here in Udon Thani, that's where we are, right up here. Uh, the other side of the river is, is Lao, but we're not far from the bridge uh, here to over to Lao at Nong Kai, uh, and then that's the An Chan and the whole of Lao. Uh, we're actually close to the sea in, in Vietnam. Yeah. Uh, I don't, can't see it here, but Vietnam is over to the right here. Yeah. Uh, then we are in, in, in Thailand at 650k from our place down to Bangkok. And if you want to go Phuket, that's another 650k south from there. Yeah. So the distance is, is the day's trip, it's an hour's trip by air uh, to get from Bangkok up to where we live. Everybody flies into Bangkok yep. uh, and there are lots of uh, local airlines that fly from Bangkok to Dontani, so they fly from there up to Dontani. What about um, for some of those uh, artists who may not be enjoying perfect health, um, you know, is it still still sort of suitable for, for people who are not the most robust health or is there any issues there? No, not, not really. I, um, the the Pompasai is quite a civilised town. Um, we've got a, 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 good, a couple of good, we've got a, a public hospital and a private hospital, um, and there are all the major banks are there and so on. So it's, it's, a, it's quite good support if anybody runs into any trouble. And we look after it. One of the great advice in Thailand is uh, my wife's uh, relatives and friends and so on, everybody helps. So there's always people on hand to, to help look after anybody who, who has any problems. And because we're, we're so small, we, you know, we've only got four people there, it's quite easier for us to, to help any individual. Yeah, so because you're on the river, I guess there's um, there's opportunities for day trips and fishing and whatever else. Is that is that a realistic uh, Fishing, it's interesting that the river runs quite fast. Yes. Yeah. Cool quite deep and there are small fishing boats out on the river the whole time uh, but I, <laughs> I've never been on one, I don't think I would go on one. So fishing is not something we can really organise. Um, we certainly can organise trips up the river and more importantly lots of day trips to uh, various temples and uh, there's some really interesting places uh, to, to visit. Uh, again on our website we've got a huge number of, of trips. Um, there's a fascinating sculpture park, uh, Wat Phu Tok, if I can get it up. Yeah. Um, there's a picture there of Wat Phu Tok. Right. Uh, and it is this mountain, 
we take people up and there's a very, very rickety path. It's really exciting. Uh, there's a fantastic view and it's just a fascinating place to go to. So that's uh, there's a sculpture park we take people to. We, we, we try to uh, get our, have our guests experience the village life uh, and it, there's always a lot going on. Uh, but it's, we, don't, we can't predict what's going to happen because nothing's set up for them. It's not for the tourists. Nothing produced for the tourists. If there's a wedding on or something, we take them to the wedding uh, or a funeral on. Uh, there's always, always interesting things. Making the monks. There's, there's a ceremony for making monks where you go around the village, uh, lots of dancing, a, a truck with a loudspeakers on the back, and everybody dances, everybody uh, gives, everybody goes by um, drinks of, of beer, and collects money from everybody. They stop all the cars, get money from there. Then you go around the village and then you end up at the temple and you go around the temple three times uh, and then give the money and, and, and the, the young man who becomes a monk uh, becomes a monk there. Because most Thai men still, even today, become monks at some time in their life, even if it's only for a few weeks, sometimes for years. So we only really open the guest house from October through to the end of January. I don't realise it's actually quite cool up in North East Thailand at that time of the year. Um, so it's very pleasant. It's like spring like weather, no rain, sunny, warm, mild sunny days, and no, virtually no wind. Uh, so it's very pleasant at that time of the year. Jeremy, um, look, thanks very much for sharing this uh, your time with us and uh, explaining a little bit about what Thailand Painting Holidays provides. It sounds absolutely fantastic. In fact, so good I'd love to do it myself. And um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'll, I'll talk to you about it after. Right. <laughs> and um, to everyone listening, uh, contact Jeremy. You can see his uh, website, Thailand Painting Holidays. You can also access it via the um, Art Workshop Hub uh, website that I publish. And um, hoping to see and hear more about um, everyone who's uh, made it to Thailand. Thanks very much, Jeremy. Well, thanks, Brian. Nice to talk to you. Yeah, that's <laughs>